Hello friends, today we're going to see about jaw lift and chin up position. Before going to the video, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and click the button to get regular notifications. Now we'll get on to the video. The head tilt with chin lift maneuver and the jaw thrust maneuver are two of the main tools of basic airway management. First, we'll know why we have to perform jaw thrust or chin up maneuver. If the patient becomes unconscious when he is on his back, the muscles of his jaw and tongue get relaxed and the tongue falls against the posterior pharyngeal wall blocking the airway. This leads to airway obstruction. Jaw thrust and head tilt chin lift maneuver helps in such a way that the tip of the chin points upwards will move the tongue away from the pharynx and relieve the airway obstruction. Now let's see to perform head tilt and chin lift maneuver. The head tilt chin lift maneuver is a procedure used to prevent the tongue from obstructing the upper airways, which commonly occurs in an obtunded or unconscious patient. Tilt the patient's head back by pushing down on the forehead. Place the tips of your index and middle fingers under the chin and pull up on the mandible, not on the soft tissues. Because pressure to the soft tissues of the neck may obstruct the airway. So, be sure to pull up only on the bony parts of the mandible. This lifts the tongue away from the posterior pharynx and improves airway patency. Contraindications Do not perform if a neck injury is suspected. Use jaw thrust instead of head tilt. Next, we'll see jaw thrust technique. The jaw thrust is a technique used on patients with a suspected spinal injury and is used on a supine patient. The jaw thrust maneuver more directly lifts the hyoid bone and tongue away from the posterior pharyngeal wall. Procedure Steps It is performed by placing two or three fingers behind the angle of the mandible and pushing the jaw anteriorly. The rescuer may also place their thumbs, gently, over the cheeks to assist in pushing the jaw forwards. It is very important that when performing the jaw thrust the rescuer places their fingers over the bony prominences of the mandible, and not soft tissues. Because applying sustained pressure to the soft tissues of the neck and or jaw could lead to trauma. Difference between head tilt chin lift and jaw thrust maneuver a head tilt chin lift is used to open the airway of an unconscious patient. Jaw thrust is used to open the airway when a spinal injury is suspected. Okay, friends, that's all about today I hope you all like this video. Subscribe to this channel for regular updates. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.